and we're going to roll. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this episode of Away With Worse, the podcast. It's your girl, B Story. It's A Tati. And it's MJM Kid. <laughs> so it's Love is Blind season. <laughs> spoiler alert. Yeah, spoilers. <laughs> We're going to be talking um, not quite so much about Love is Blind, but just about a theme. Then this undercurrent of a theme in all of these dating and love and marriage shows. So we'll get to that right after these messages. <laughs> these messages Before we get crazy. started, we want to make sure that we are reminding the people who are present to be present um, with a little bit more action. If you don't mind, if you're listening to this, please make sure that you are rating and reviewing us. Keep your four and belows. We don't need those. You can put them in our email, though, if you want to hit me up and give me some tips or some critiques that are um, constructive and kind. We'll take those there. Mm -hmm. But give us your mm -hmm. five-star ratings and your reviews, wherever it is that you are listening to this podcast. If you are watching this podcast, please make sure that you are subscribed. Um, feel free to share. Right. We really appreciate that. Um, it is the beginning of March. There are new affirmations out on yaymash.com. Mm -hmm. So please make sure that you check that out as well and make yourself a person who always gets the emails from there. <laughs> Very easy to do. So thanks for that. Let's break some ice. Yeah. I had a sound effect. I know you did. did. <laughs> Just How could you be on time with it? Oh, good. That's what's crazy. Oh, what happened to my little thing? Oh, no, she's not ready. Oh, no, she's not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do, guys. Oh, no, I she's not ready. I was just looking ready. for my thing that told me what the colors were. Does somebody get to choose a color? Me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. So you guys hate when I choose the color. <laughs> no. no. Fine. <laughs> no. Fine. Michael. Choose. No, it's no, Women's History Month. Yeah. You oh. Choose the cup. oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, key card. A life question, a random question, a deep question. Would you rather if you could or experience? Ooh, if you could. Yeah, I was about to say that, too. We All haven't right. done those. Green it is. Dang, I was going to say green regardless. Wow. That. Blocked. Blocked. No more <laughs> of this, guys. I can't help it. This, they're going to be doing a lot of sound effects from a TikTok that they like. Love. And then if I start saying, <laughs> now don't make me start doing my TikTok. <laughs> Chris is looking like. <laughs> and then he you said you so made steak. TikTok. Nigga, that was banquet. Salisbury steak. Y'all don't know that one? You ain't send it to me. You done fed me a TV dinner? Oh, my God, guys. No. Nope. You ain't send it to me. I should know, Asia, you're failing at this. How come you haven't sent it to them? Yeah, she is. <laughs> yeah. She's a failer. <laughs> <laughs> if you could create one holiday, what would you create? Oh. I would create a day called... Um, the, f the the term that came in my mind is pay it forward, but that's not, I don't think that's what I mean. But just like a con like a national day of kindness. Damn it. Where it's like you have to do, like whatever uh. opportunity that you have in public to do mm -hmm. something for someone else. So if you're at a coffee shop, like buying coffee for the person behind you, like mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. just any opportunity to go above and beyond for a stranger. Like that is. I like mm -hmm. that. I would do that day. I was thinking about something like that. <coughs> That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Um, <laughs> That's I fun. would create a thing where in the seasons, for every season, there is a new, like, automatic, like, day off from work. Mm. For like a rent, like just because the seasons the are changing. The seasons have changed. Like, oh, okay. That's good. You know, for like a seasonal depression, like just because it's cold. And literally yeah. that's what the day could be called. Like just because it's cold. I like that. Or be in like in the fall because it's getting dark now. Like yeah. early. Yeah, that time for the year. spring so y'all hoes can clean up. Like, yeah. oh God. And like for the, the summer. The How could the summer one be? A play day. Just a day to go play. Because it's not remember, cold outside. Remember, yeah. um. What do they have? What was it called on Nickelodeon? Like the the worldwide day of play or something, where yeah. the the mm. TV would go off. It'll just be like a countdown mm. or something, and you're supposed to go outside and play. Yes, I like that. Yes, I think we <laughs> definitely need that in the work world. But the kids on those days should all have to be somewhere else. <laughs> oh, 
There should be some type of place. Interesting. So just for adults. Because then somebody. But then who's gonna watch them? I was like, then somebody has to be at work. I guess. Okay, I'll take her with me. (laughs) She can come home. (laughs) (laughs) We can all be off together. They kids probably get tired too. Kids be tired. Yeah. The only thing that came straight to my mind was what we've talked about before is the day after Super Bowl. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Being mm-hmm. a holiday because. That's, that's necessary. Because why, why isn't it not? Yeah, why We all I take it seriously mm-hmm. as Americans. Well, <laughs> we, we adapted to taking it seriously as mm-hmm. Americans. Yeah. And it's just like everybody's getting fucked up, having a great time. Y'all were football. so thirsty to get us into it. Now we're into it. Yeah. yeah. So, like, don't go to work the next day. So yeah. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. One thing about me, I'm not going to work anyway. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look. Every chance I get. Um, True. I was going to say, like, <laughs> Juneteenth shouldn't be a national holiday. It should just be, be for black people. It's actually crazy. Right. Every time every yeah. time I think about white people being off on Juneteenth, it makes me want to, like, throw things. Yeah, I think you should. What? It's sick. Anywho. <laughs> um, oh, let's check in. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> just thinking about them being like, oh, none of the black people are going to be here, Ma. Like, but like they're still there. Yeah, <laughs> like that's it should hilarious. be. It should be that way. It's like <sighs> the country we Keisha's live in off. is so weird. It's like you're gonna you're gonna acknowledge the fact. Like they be swearing up and down. Like, oh guys, <sighs> slavery is such a long time ago. But finally, we get you to acknowledge that black people had an emancipation that wasn't the fucking Fourth of July. Right. And y'all think that y'all supposed to celebrate it too? That's sick. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Anyway, mm-hmm. um. Michael, would you like to? <laughs> oh, you was about to start and you flipped it. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. Never. <laughs> oh, never. Not never. Physically, um, my legs are a little sore because of leg day. Yeah. Um, emotionally, this past week has been great. Last week was not. And so I've yeah. been making sure I kept up with feeling good, and I do. So emotionally, I feel joy. Mm. My attention is on... I guess just I have a very busy busy March. Ooh. I was booked up March, babe. Booked and like, busy, babe. The deposits was flowing in last week. I love that. It's just that. like, what the fuck? Like, Ooh, y'all really amazing. want my work? This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, because you called me that. like, what are you doing for your birthday? Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, uh, <laughs> it's like, well, it's about two months away. I don't I'm know. I'm like, Tati, someone is hiring <laughs> me that weekend, and I need to know. Okay. And they did hire me, so... They sent that deposit today, actually. It's wow. a great deposit. <laughs> I thought it was a great deposit. I'm just swimming in dough right I was going to say, he's doing sex work. <laughs> 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 time to borrow cash. Yeah, sex work. No, don't borrow any cash <laughs> from me. I don't have any money. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so my attention's on all the work that I'm doing in March. Nice. And I got some trips coming. Like, fuck it. Fuck it. The guy at my job, my coworker, tried to, like, we wear headsets during service. Mm-hmm. And he's just like, you need to be taking this job seriously on Sundays. Like, just basically saying, like, Sunday is like a regular work day. I'm like, sorry, I'm an independent contractor, babe, and I can do what the hell I want. Period. You're what a full-time employee. What were you doing? What was his deal? He was just, because I, cause I have dates coming up that I'm not going to be there. Like, oh, yeah. At the end of each, for the next three months, I'm going to be gone, like, the last weekend of each Sunday. Mm-hmm. And I can do that. I already gave my hours and my, my time off, and, they, and it's been approved, babe. So, what you got going on? Cause you got to be here every Sunday. Got yeah. nothing to do with me. <laughs> he, like you actually, just had a problem. Actually, with what you need to take it serious? What a yeah. wild side conversation. Because this is yeah, doing service. It's like um, it's still considered a weekend. I'm going to take advantage of the weekend if I need to. I'm always there. Like it's yeah. not like I'm just always ditching out on fucking Sundays. Everybody, mm-hmm. calm down. Everybody, so I got calm some dates down. coming up. I'm gonna be gone. So <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> so my attention is awesome on that. Is why I brought that up. Par. <laughs> and spiritually, like what the fuck, like. <laughs> I love spiritually, like, what the fuck? Spiritually, like, what the fuck? Oh, I love that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Physically, I got a headache, and it's making fuck. me, it's making me, um. You feel so bad for her. No, no, I didn't feel bad for her. It's <laughs> you don't know. No, no, that's not what I was saying. <laughs> no, I don't feel bad for her. I do feel bad for the headache. Anywho, my head hurts. It's making it, like, my eyes, like, I can't open my eyes all the way. So I look like I've been puffing on Za, but I haven't. Um. <laughs> she has been puffing all the time. I have not oh, emotionally. Okay. Um, emotionally, I feel I feel settled now. I have been a little topsy turvy emotionally. We are on our period. 
mm-hmm. and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Um, I saw a bug the other night and just burst into tears. Where? On the ceiling. Oh, no. First, it was on the floor. The cat was trying to get it, and so that freaked me out. I hate I hate he wasn't successful? bugs and critters. I don't want him. I didn't want him to. No, be. that would make me scared. I because oh. I, I didn't know because I don't know what he's gonna do to with it. Things. Like, what you gonna, you gonna eat it? You yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do? Like, like I don't know what he's gonna. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to think about. I don't want to see. Mm-hmm. Like, and and the the thing is, obviously, it's happened before without my awareness. But I cannot see that, so I Bobby hated that. Yeah, you think you're head. kissing me with that mouth? He don't he shouldn't be kissing him at all. I said he don't kiss By me. By kiss, I mean like a lick if he licked you. Oh, well, like yeah. Anything. I'm saying, like, you're not putting that tongue on me, baby. Not yeah, me. so mm-hmm. just I say all of that to say I've been pretty emotionally fragile. But also, I've been pretty good, considering. Um, My attention is currently on shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just finished uh, the Creative Act, Rick Rubin's book. And I'm, I'm reading a book a month this year. That's the commitment that I made to myself. So I was really happy that I finished that book in February because that was a big ass book. Mm. And mm. so now that it's March, I'm about to start reading. Uh, well, rereading Wicked since the Wicked movie is coming out this year. Brianna, shut mm. your fucking I found mouth. I, I dug in my closet and I'm like, I have that book. I have that book. So. You're I can't believe how aligned we are because I looked at that book on our shelf two days ago. I'm like, Wicked, I'm about to read Wicked. Yes. Read it. Let's read do it a little book club. Let's do it. Oh, my God. Okay. Decided. I'm so surprised that you liked the book, Wicked. Who, me? Mm-hmm. I love the book. I love it Why so are much. you surprised by yeah, that? Yeah, did you not like it? Mm-hmm. She likes Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, I love all Wizard of Oz lore. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, I'm gonna reread <laughs> Wicked this month for March. Okay, me too. Um, spiritually, spiritually, I'm feeling affirmed and confirmed. Oh, Perfect. period. That's a great. You wanna know why? Way. Sure. Okay, this morning I was meditating, and I pictured a t- particular tarot card in my mind, and it's a tarot card that I don't be liking. Okay. It's like one of the sp- one of the spirits, mm-hmm. and so I was like, "No!" I literally thought about it, and I was like, "No, don't think about that." And then I, you know, just kept meditating. I wasn't meditating on tarot, by mm-hmm. the way. I was just meditating. Popped in my head. I shook my head and said, "No, I don't want to think about that." I pulled the tarot card after that. Not pulled. I was shuffling it, and it jumped out on the floor, and it was that card. Mm-hmm. But it was in reverse, and when I looked up the meaning in reverse, it was actually something really positive. Oh. Mm-hmm. And I just felt like it was God's way of being like. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. <laughs> and you tr- you can trust yourself, girl. It's okay. Yeah. So it was cool. Perfect. I like that. <laughs> Physically, <laughs> I am tired. Yes, yeah, so tired. Nah. Did I not mention that? <laughs> so tired. Fresh off the plantation. I'm definitely tired. Uh, for sure. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I made that same uh, joke earlier. I was like, you? I'm about to go back to the computer and be like, slave, slave, slave. Like, that's how I feel when I'm typing. Like, slave, slave. Like, I'm going to. Uh, something was in the water today because the kids were. I'm talking about fights, fights <laughs> all day. <laughs> I didn't expect you to like say I'm so <laughs> serious. Like it was insane. Wait, I thought at best you were going to be like they were really hyper. <laughs> you no, said fights. That too, because the kids that weren't fighting were just on ten because like, of all the fights. It was crazy. I think as the weather is changing, you know how they get fights. Get me like too. What was going on? But I was just be sitting there like, just looking around like y'all gotta. So I just picture like the Mean Girls yeah. scene. <laughs> you just yeah. looking around and all the kids are fighting. That's how it felt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, bless um, your heart. Emotionally, I feel everything. Yo, emotionally, I, I think I am feeling or have felt this week at least every emotion. Just every deception, <laughs> betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> Not those. Uh, all these big definitely except joy. for those. Except for <laughs> deception and betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> and all the words that are like in that realm, like I didn't feel those things, but I feel like I felt, yeah, a plethora. You ran of the gamut. Others. Did you feel blocked? Oh no, <laughs> huh? I didn't feel it, but okay. I cracked up at it. Okay, if y'all are watching this at home, y'all should just start a little drinking game every time <laughs> right. they reference that TikTok. Just have a little sip. So funny. That was a great time. That was one of like, what day did you send that to me? Probably Blue Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? <laughs> Probably Tuesday. Yeah, I think it was Tuesday. Because that was like one of the highlights <laughs> of my week. Honestly. Tati was in tears. She called me immediately. <laughs> yeah. I, I really never heard her crack take up it. so loudly on the phone. I really couldn't take it. That was a good time. 
most times. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my attention is on just finishing this year out, honestly. Oh, you almost uh, done the school year. The school it year. is going yeah. on. Yeah, for real. <laughs> it's almost over with. I'm ready to. Uh, my attention is like on my birthdays. Yeah. Like, what's oh. happening? Is that like birth? Well, birthday season had already began, but oh, finishing it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying I I'm saying blamed. it was already. I know. I felt like <laughs> blamed. Like, well, Brianna already made us like enjoy. It made us it. made us celebrate birthdays. No, that was a great time. Got into the chandelier. So and yeah, just my attention is on those things and just closing out the school year with a bang and spiritually, Sorry. I feel blessed. Like. Sad things or tragedies like do put things like in perspective, and I mm. definitely had gotten some sad news about a very dear childhood friend of mine mm. that <clears throat> had was in a very bad car accident, and I did not know that things had gotten like as bad as they have gotten, mm-hmm. and I wasn't like aware of that, and I was I was very sad, I was very emotional. And mm. it definitely, it made me think about all of my other, like, close, like, best friends mm-hmm. and just, like, how blessed I am that, like, I can pick up my phone and, like, call Bree any day and call yes. Michael any day and yes. just, like, call my friends and speak to my friends. So it definitely put things in perspective and showed me, like, how blessed that I truly am yeah. and the other people around me that I love are blessed, too. For sure. Yeah, definitely. We love you. We love you. I love you guys. Speaking of love... Um, if you haven't noticed, um, we're calling this episode Love is Healed because I really just want to have a conversation about, um, in honor, not in honor, inspired by Love is Blind. We are now in the depths of Love is Blind season six. I don't know. You watched it? Yes. Oh, okay. Same. Same? Oh. Yeah, I watched it. Okay, great. Everybody's are, caught up. Everybody's caught up on the current. I'm only. Mm-hmm. Oh damn. Okay, I'm I just making sure because my intention. I do have like examples. Because I mentioned it last time we were here. I was like, if you're gonna get back into Love Is Blind, I was like, you should catch. You gotta watch this season. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, got so it. I didn't, but I didn't expect anybody to watch it. I <laughs> was, I didn't expect <laughs> myself to watch it. Same, honestly, I, didn't, I did not. Expect and then I, I don't even know what happened. Like we, I just saw it and I was like, oh, that's what Check it out. the same, same, but same, it same. but it does what it always does, which is like once you start watching it, it's just like okay. But even though, well, okay. So my intention isn't necessarily to talk about the show, even though obviously we're going to. But I really mm-hmm. just want to have a conversation about like um, how the formula that is Love Is Blind, and I'm using Love Is Blind because that's what we're curr- all currently watching, but really all of these dating, specifically the marriage-focused shows, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the formula for them, it cannot be possible without people that are deeply unhealed, is my thought, right? right? So I just think that there's, um, there's an interesting thing. I think that w- we, in our personal lives, have had conversations or experiences where we're dating or talking to other people who are dating. And it's just like, why are you dating? You're clearly not ready. You have not, you know, Mm -hmm. you're, you don't feel secure in yourself. Like you haven't done any of the quote unquote work. We've seen that in our personal lives, but in this, it's different in real life because sometimes we just stumble upon romance, right? Like sometimes we're not looking and we meet somebody and you have to kind of rise to the occasion of whether you have or have not quote unquote done the work. But on mm-hmm. these shows, you are seeking actively, not just a partner. This isn't a uh, eliminate or fucking uh, no cha- change a heart yeah. where the worst that can happen, the, like the biggest thing you can hope for is we finna go on a date after this. Mm-hmm. See what happens. No, you're going this to is marry. You're <laughs> going to marry a person, right? And mm-hmm. sight un- unseen and all of that good stuff, but you on the inside are just not there. And to go into this not knowing that about yourself, I just think it's bizarre, right? So mm-hmm. the first thing that I wanted to kind of touch on is what do I mean when I say healed? Okay. In the context of Love is Blind specifically, I'm thinking about, like, attachment styles. So Woo! also – Yes, okay, can you please. Tell me when you said like for the show to be, do you when you say it takes <coughs> an unhealed person participant for the show? Do you mean like 
an un, only an unhealed person would want to participate, or mm-hmm. do you mean like that's what just makes the show? Successful? I think that that's makes what I think that that's what the people who are creating okay. these shows want. Okay, for it to be interesting, mm-hmm. because if all we had were Johnny and Amy's. It would be boring. Exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. You're it right. would be kind of like, oh, that's cool. We, we would just be watching them like yeah. get to know each other and like mm-hmm. have little to no conflict. Well, I just think they are boring though. I think they're boring because people. Because there have been very in <laughs> well, love, yeah, healthy couples on the show that were extremely interesting to watch. Mm. Like the original couple, like Lauren, Lauren and, Cam. and Cam. Yeah. The last like uh, I didn't black watch. couple was Brett and. Mm-mm. I only watched I season one and two of Love is, is But, like, they were, like, one of the it, you know, couples mm-hmm. that was, like, on the forefront. I'm really pissed that I can't remember her name, his wife's name. But they were, like, interesting. You know, like, they were interesting and, like, happy to watch. Interesting. I have I, a I've only watched two that. seasons. I don't know which season I've only watched this. the first season, the second season, and now the sixth. I don't feel comfortable not saying her name in March. Okay, you tell us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in the meantime, though, like, one of the things that uh, – um, and I have notes – because I was thinking about this the other day. And I'm, when I say unhealed or healed, when I'm using that language, I'm really thinking in terms of attachment style because, um, you know, you either have a secure attachment, which is you're good to go, mm-hmm. <laughs> quote, unquote, or you have an anxious attachment, an avoidant attachment, or some people have, um, like, a combination attachment, which yeah. is t- but which is actually really rare. But when um i'm thinking of uh, who it, when i'm thinking of someone being healed in this context i'm thinking of someone with a secure attachment so a person who doesn't have a hard time believing people believing what people say mm-hmm. just trusting people also a person who trusts themselves mm-hmm. and trusts others i'm looking at you clay cuz why are you so worried that you might cheat on somebody someday but we'll talk so about stupid. we mm-hmm. may talk about that but like also a person who is grounded in reality in the context of Love is Blind specifically, mm-hmm. like, the idea of going into this, of course, put your all into it. I do think that when you're doing these shows and you're really seeking to actually marry a person, I do think that you should throw caution to the wind and just put all put your whole into it. But mm-hmm. you also have to understand the situation that y'all are in. You went from being a completely single person, the other person you're with, went from being a completely single person to all of a sudden being engaged. Expecting them to just, like, a light switch, just be completely, like, like other people never existed, the people that they dated in the pods never existed. It's just right. very unrealistic, and I think that it, it ultimately comes from an anxious atti- attachment style more than it comes from a place of, like, well, we're getting married, and you're supposed to, like, you know, I just think it's very weird. But anywho... Um, also, having just uh, a realistic standpoint of the process, like this, everybody's doing the same thing here. Everybody. Mm-hmm. So, like, where do you want to begin? I'm trying to figure out because <laughs> I really wasn't trying. I have notes on each person, but I, in my, in my mind, I was like, I really don't want to like harp on each. Person. We could literally go down the list. We can. <laughs> Only briefly. <laughs> it don't got to be long. I mean, Johnny and Amy, I don't. I didn't put, make any notes on them because they're it's just, just like. Look, they're just fine where they are. Fine. The, um, they're so. The, the reason you know that they obviously, their journey was so like copacetic was how much they're playing up the only disagreement they kind of have, yes. their only friction about the birth control. Because yeah. I feel like in real life, that was probably the obviously not minor, mm-hmm. right. but a very not. Not they not, don't focus. They on weren't it too just much. waking up every day, honey. The birth control. <laughs> what are we gonna do? You know, <laughs> right. I'm sure that was not the case. But it's like Netflix was like, this is all we're getting, and since they're also not giving us the vibes <laughs> of a Lauren and Cam, <laughs> so it's like we right. gotta figure out what to like how to play them. You know, I, I did have an issue with. Um, I, I I described it as propaganda. I think that we have a very um a sad a sad a sadly limited amount of information about vasectomies. We do. Mm-hmm. I was really irritated. Um obviously that's their journey and that could just be their journey, but of course my conspiracy theory hat was on where it's like, how do we go from him being like considering the vasectomy and then being like, Oh, and then I realized what it was and I and now she's considering birth control again after she was very from the beginning. Right. Very certain about, like, I have a condition. That's not something I don't want to do to my body. And then we went right back to that. I just really want television to do a better job of really talking about what a vasectomy is, what the process is, and how minimal it actually is, and how 
um, how it is so much less intrusive to a man's body than birth control of any method is to a woman's body. Absolutely. But that's neither here nor there. No, mm-hmm. Let's just address here. the elephant in the fucking room. I'm well, there are a few, so I don't know which one you're bringing up. I'm going to start <laughs> with my least favorite. Your and least can I just favorite. Let no, me I wanna, do, can't wait to let hear Let me do it. a disclaimer. Least favorite couple. Let me everybody. just do a disclaimer. Mm-hmm. Not cl- couple. Person. Yes. Least person. My, so couple. I do want to I mean, do a, I do want to do a disclaimer because like I don't relish in publicly like talking bad about people. I don't mm-hmm. I don't like that for me. Mm-hmm. So I, I do just like, but that's ultimately what's going to happen. So I didn't want to just offer that disclaimer. Like I am critiquing this from a standpoint of a consumer <laughs> of a I'm television. Watching the of show. A, I'm watching the and show. And that's okay. I don't know these people. I hope that they're okay. However, Chelsea? Yes, I knew it. I fucking knew the it. The fact, I just want to say. The I fact, knew it. The fact that her behavior has allowed for a person to label her as least favorite character it on is. a show where Jeremy exists. Where it's Jeremy crazy. exists. It's true. <laughs> That's crazy. That's hilarious. And, I, and we'll get to Jeremy. But Chelsea. It is definitely Chelsea. Chelsea is the reason why I wrote this down. Chelsea is, is Chelsea. the reason why I was like, why oh is this the formula that people that are this deeply unhealed are coming here under the guise of, I just, you know, I'm looking for love, want to be a wife or whatever the fuck. Chelsea, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay, so by the time it's March 4th, by the time that this is out, the, the end isn't going to be out until March 6th. But from what we've seen so fucking far, First of all, I was cracking up in the beginning because, like, I don't know if y'all noticed the titles of the episodes. They were trolling the fuck out of Chelsea. Cozy something? Uncomfy. Uncomfy, I'm, yes. I'm uncomfy. <laughs> I'm and uncomfy. then the one before that was She Lied to Me, and it was about her not looking like Megan Fox. Why would they do that? Anywho. They don't like her either. Chelsea, <laughs> Chelsea girl. Okay, so. Chelsea is a. Chelsea is a person who is, in my opinion, I'm not nobody's doctor or therapist or nothing. My but opinion as well. In my opinion, Chelsea is somebody who is really, really struggling with her sense of self-worth. Absolutely. She mm-hmm. does not believe that she deserves a healthy, solid, secure relationship. And we saw that from the very beginning because oh she intentionally God. chose the man who was juggling between her and another person as opposed to a man who was about her the entire time. Exactly. She did not want that. That was too safe. She doesn't feel like she deserves that. Yep. She gets Jeremy. She gets in that space with him. She gets Jimmy. I mean, Jimmy. Sorry, yeah. sorry. She gets Jimmy. She gets Jimmy. And she is constantly. So here's the thing. You know what it, what triggers me about Chelsea what irritates me is that I I have I have had some of these behaviors mm-hmm. not in the same font. Okay, yeah, for sure. At all. Right. But I know what it looks like to like create a hoop of fire for someone to jump through because she's trying to get you to prove to her that she's worthy of love. And it has to be hard. It can't just be mm-hmm. Babe, I'm feeling I'm feeling really insecure, and I really need some reassurance. She doesn't have that language. Or she, she has to force him to admit what her negative brain yeah. is telling her, which is like, no, you are ugly. Yes. Or like, no, you yes. aren't. No, I don't like you. Actually, I do regret choosing you. I but, do want <laughs> but Jessica. But more than that, though, I think it is the, like, she's, She's playing on all of those things because she wants him to be like, no, babe, you're beautiful. And honestly, Exhausting. Jimmy is constantly taking the fucking bait. Exhausting. I love you. I keep telling you. Do I chose you. With, I want to be here. With his little country self, which I don't want to do a lot of jumping around. No, just stay here. But, like, Jimmy, we just, we just, we're all just going to, like, move forward after we all just watched him tell Jess that she's still his number one? Number one. We all just going to keep... I knew Chelsea was number one. You gonna mosey past that? I didn't think Chelsea was his number one at all. We're gonna just mosey past that though, because he told her that to. Her, but that's neither here nor there. We're talking about Chelsea. Chelsea is battling with a deep sense of self worth, like, like lack of self worth, self worth, like deeply. I, she is who I'm talking about when I say you need to like yourself. The way that you look, the way that your mind works, you have to co- you have to sit with all of that stuff, the good, mm-hmm. the bad, the ugly. You yeah. got to go through the ringer. You got to jump through those hoops of fire that you created for somebody else to prove to you that they love you. You have to do that with yourself and then look for love. Now, it's different if you just stumble across love and then – because a lot of times you don't even know these things about yourself until you get in a relationship. 
You're like, damn, mm-hmm. I didn't realize that I was this needy or this, like, okay. But you have to have the self-awareness to step back and be like, okay, now that I see that, let's, all I right, think, let's move towards the right direction. I think it is easy for women especially to not realize their faults or know what, what they're lacking mm-hmm. when their partners are create are, are creating bigger crimes. For sure. You know, yeah. and I think 100%. she is probably an example of, you know, dating <coughs> men that have, like, cheated on her or lied yeah. to her she or said whatever. Yep. So it never really caused her to have to be like, how did I contribute or what mm-hmm. was I lacking? Or not even what did I contribute, but what should I change to make sure that, like, I don't fall for this type of person, like, again, moving forward. It just allowed her to be like, I need a better guy. Yeah. You know, it's or not about me. I need to find exactly. a nicer After being guy, cheated a better on. guy. And also... I think that she flipped and went to Jimmy just because he chose her. Yeah. Like, I think it was validating for her. Because if I'm walking around thinking I'm not that great, like, if I'm deep down inside, like, oh, like, I'm kind of chubby, I'm kind of weak. Like, whatever she thinks about herself. <laughs> kind of weak. Like, whatever she thinks about or whatever <laughs> an insecure person would think. If I'm walking around with these thoughts floating in my mind, and then, but I'm in the house with a woman that I perceive as just drop the dead baddest. gorgeous. And then this man chose me over her. Her mind just was like was on crack. Like, she was just so excited. She was so stimulated and felt so validated from the fact that, like, he chose her that she was like, okay. You know, and she just lost, like, her sense. Like, the real connection that she was building with Trevor, Trevor. the real connection she had made, which is even, which was really shown when they saw each other again for, like, the first time. Yeah, she's like, watching so my type. Watching Trevor so effortlessly do the things, though, Mm -hmm. that she's, just dying to get from Jimmy all the time. Not to say that Jimmy's doing anything wrong. He's not. But Trevor but from yeah. Jump is instantly validating You were my her. girl. Instantly And I know it her, now looking at you're you. You're attractive. You didn't have to ask him, what's your favorite feature about me? No. You know, no, didn't. he walked, Trevor walked in the room like, you he are attractive. Said, he he said, he said, you have <laughs> ideal teeth? Baby, I would have been like, so I'm weak as hell. Because <laughs> what you're telling me is that the best thing I did was get braces. Child. Poor baby. Can, but I, tell you, can but I tell y'all when please. I realized Chelsea had was a thing? Nuts. Like, well, it was obvious in the pods, but when she got with Jimmy and they were on their getaway, mm-hmm. that was they had um, DR? Yeah. Mm-hmm. When they brought up Jess and um, <laughs> Jess said to Jimmy in the pods, like, You're going to choke. You're going to choke. And he and Jimmy told Chelsea that. Why did he that's tell her when that? It started immediately. Yeah. She started that day saying, well, do you still love me? Do you love? You think I'm pretty? Like it started immediately yeah. because she knows. Because she knows. I'm about to say because she was living in the, with that bitch. She saw what Jess looked like, so that's it, and it didn't stop after that. After that's that, true. It kept going. That's I'm like, true. Oh, that was I the also worst thing to say to her. Rewinding though to the pods, I also have the thought, and Trevor asked this too when they saw each other in person. I have the thought that she would have said yes to whoever asked first. Mm. Yeah, I really do. Absolutely. And I, and Netflix did that on purpose because I think yes. they're they're filming it, so they are first. <laughs> And Netflix like and they're over. seeing the connection. It's producers, firsthand. yeah. So they knew the same way said, Trevor and Chelsea knew mm-hmm. they were each other's number ones. And I think that once Jimmy flipped and had told Jessica no and was mm-hmm. gonna go with Chelsea, it was like, ooh, well now we just gotta see what you know. We just gotta see what'll happen because yeah. when Trevor asked her in the pods, which she had said yes to him, she didn't even answer him. It's only after the fact now that they're in real no. life that yeah. she was like, no, it still wouldn't have been. You didn't say that in the pause, baby. Yeah. Yeah. You just cried. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. you just That's all put she your did head down cry. because you were like. She was so and happy. as a crybaby, I have never been so fucking tired of seeing a bitch cry. Yeah, she, me too. And the, and the way and that she whining. talks. Just, it's the whining. It just makes me sad. I'm clinging. Oh, stop, stop, stop. I'm Girl, go talk to that lady, please. And that's what I was saying, too. Like, oh, especially the episode before the last episode, I think, when she lied to Jimmy and said, well, I, I heard you were with Jess. No, you fucking didn't hear that. She's on what are you talking about? Martinis. She was 
tweaking. And I and and the thing is, and that's that goes back to just my my theory, which is you cannot have a show like this and it be quote unquote successful unless people are unhealed. Because right, I right. wish that this show had people who gave a fuck about people's like emotional um, and mental well being. Because that was the moment that. You know how they have um, intimacy coaches mm -hmm. for, like, sex scenes and stuff? Mm -hmm. that, it, that would be the moment that, like, a well-being coach needs to be like, okay, cut, c come with me. It you're you're done. Cool. She's done. She's lying. She needs to go talk to a lady yeah. It would be cool with a if, degree. like, on the Married at First Sight show, like, if they had, like, some type of counseling, like, in between times. I don't be trusting. Yeah, like, that, it would be cool. cool if they had something like that. That is cool, and, like, I don't be trusting on that shit though. But well, that's why don't you trust that shit? I really my, like. I only thing. have ever seen one season of that entire show. Was but it? I like the black guy, the black, the oh, pastor. Oh, oh yeah, guy. Yeah, the yeah, pastor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I like. I liked how he talked. <laughs> I liked how what he talked to people. Yeah, I have. Uh, I have like mixy feelings about those. But um. But yeah. So then, and also, I wrote down about Chelsea that she acts out emotionally because intuitively. She knows that her and Jimmy are a mismatch. And I think that she's so yes. used to, like, chaos and turmoil. And I think that people like that, I was going to say girls like that, but people like that who have an association, like, this is what a relationship is. Like, we're always fighting. We have, like, I have, it's this push and pull. Like, you got to prove to me. Like, that's what she has normalized. And it's like, she, it's like every once in a while she'll snap out and re knows logically that that's not normal mm -hmm. but for the most part you keep going back to that and then i also didn't appreciate yeah i don't she needed i wish a well-being coach would have been like she's she's done now after this because why I did do you so. also bring up the fact that he fucked his friend and he told you that in confidence don't say that on camera. not on camera yeah that was bogus and also stuff. jimmy we knew you fucked that girl. Yeah. Because she sure. was, like, that one girl was chatty, 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 and the other girl was sitting there the whole time, like. <laughs> yeah, nice. But it's like, yeah. if we talk, like you said, but if we talked about this off camera. Yeah, why are you, you bringing that up? It, and also, I'm assuming that because we talked about it, you were aware, kind of like in the decision making about me bringing them on the show. Because right. he said mm -hmm. that. Because he said, I told that to you in confidence. I brought her on camera. Right. He was like, I did so not you want up her, her to feel. So now yeah, he was she's like, I didn't want her to feel disrespected. He was right. like, we talked about this because it almost sounded like, had you had an issue, he would have never even brought her on camera. You know she how even you know how crazy line. you gotta be to say you fucked her. I know you fucked her, and his response be, yeah, I told you that. What are you but talking about? Shout out to Chelsea because if it wasn't for all of her erratic behavior, I would have never believed that Jimmy loved her. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> because. Mm. Seeing them meet and everything for the first time. I got a like note about that, too. VR, like, I definitely was thinking in my head, like, he is not feeling I don't it. Think he does. And when he told her, when I he know, told I'm gonna tell her, you why. she was like, but I had sex with you? And he was like, I, I know, didn't I, want He that said either. I could have kept yeah, that. He was like, you initiated it. He said it. you yeah. could have kept that, too. But <laughs> that last <laughs> argument they had and how he was kind of handling her, it, it at least showed to me that. He loves her at least as a person. To an extent. At the end of like, and I would Not never. She's making him look like such a sound, mm -hmm. you know, realistic, easy to talk to, oh, great just, communicator. Just, just really finna like, jump his bones now. Yeah, when, like, once the footage come out, she is making him look guy. amazing. So here's my thought about Jimmy. So she as made. far as attachment style, he has more of an avoidant attachment attachment. Um, attachment style and he has people pleasing tendencies for sure mm -hmm. and i think that it causes him he struggles with being honest about his preferences and his needs absolutely mm -hmm. 100%. like he gets into a tense situation and his go-to is like how do i make it less tense whatever i gotta do say think feel and that's what makes me be like i don't think that i, I think you're right that he loves her and he mm -hmm. cares about her and mm -hmm. like just general generally wants the best for her but i think that it's being guided by this inner need to kind of like people please and not look like not shit rock on camera. the boat oh yeah like not have a bad like be that guy like <laughs> let's move on to ad and clay let's move on here's the thing i will say ahead of time i'm a fan now so go ahead. of ad and clay yeah cool they've actually won me over in the beginning i was like eh but now okay, I'm actually tell me why they tell me how they've the won you over because hopefully you maybe you'll bring me over to over the everybody side. Uh, there's nobody else. There's only, who, what's the blind couple? Uh, Johnny and Amy. There's only Johnny and Amy. And then, it well, it's definitely not Chelsea and Jimmy. 
I do, so, I do have notes about that. Jeremy so and Laura, as, but like, yeah, couples I got go. They, they, they damn near pointless too. at this as point. As far as yeah. couples, they are my favorite, like on the show. Eddie and Clay? Mm-hmm. As far Tell as us why. the working couples. Um, I think... I'm trying to think how how why are they my because it was like it's like a growing thing. Mm, okay. It's like every new episode or every new like glimpse mm-hmm. I kind of get into them while I see the areas and things in him that I don't like. Yeah, so many. But I also <laughs> see ways that they can improve in real life. Yeah. yeah, that they can actually work on this and they can this That's can fair. actually be. A working relationship. It has only been you a know, couple of weeks. Two people <laughs> that, you know, that have to just want to make it work. And yeah. I also feel like it bothers me that he's always mentioning his fear of cheating. That is the bullshit. But I also feel like it, mm. But I also feel like how he's talking about how he needs to like get into therapy and like all that stuff. I also feel like in the meantime, in between time. Because Love is Blind or Reality TV, period, is such a pressure cooker. Yeah. And it brings up so many, like, emotions. I feel like, in the meantime, he's this is this is becoming the therapy. So, it's mm. like, I kind of feel like he keeps saying things. Almost like how Chessie's insecurities keep yeah. coming out every single episode. Because it's almost like there's nowhere else for them to go. Yeah. Like, we're right here. We're making this decision, <laughs> like, in two seconds. That's fair, So, too. it's just kind of like he's just telling her, like, no, I love you, but I am terrified. Yeah. Like, like yeah. I'm down. I'm like, but I'm terrified, you know, and and I like the eighties. Just like I'm not afraid. If you say no, we're done. Definitely, but you should say yes because I think we'll make it work. Definitely. So I had written the note that I wrote about her before these last couple of episodes, and I have kind of changed my mind about what I said. Mm-hmm. What I said before is that it's harder to tell how anxious she is because she's very confident. She is I confident. I do still think that she's anxious, like as far as an attachment style. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do, th- but I don't think that sh- I do think that she's confident enough that she won't let it go as far as like a Chelsea, which mm-hmm. is just she's just gonna keep trying to go back and forth. Whereas like mm-hmm. if you really think that a dude don't love you, just stop fucking with him. Question mark. Mm-hmm. But so I don't think AD would put herself in that particular situation. Clay, however, is another one. Like Clay and Chelsea were the two in my mind when I was like, this is why I want to talk about this because you shouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. Like deep, deep, deep to the point where you can't, that's like a constant thought of yours is that my daddy, che- like also he revealed when, cause <coughs> also I was frustrated with the conversation that um, his mom and 80s mom said it too. Like, well, like 24 years is a long time. And like, that's a success. And it's like, is it? If starting year seven, he started cheating on her. So you mean Mm -hmm. to tell me from year seven to 24, your mama was getting cheated on and you want to sit here and, and, piss on my shoes and tell me it's rain by telling me that just because they lasted 24 years that that was a success. See, I don't that like that type of... That doesn't mean it was of, happy. I don't like that type of pro-marriage mm-hmm. propaganda. Like, I don't like that shit. Right. But, anywho, Clay has deep, 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 like, I don't know if, if they're insecurities or just fears or just all of these things, the reflections. He's <laughs> bringing up his dad and Will Smith and, and <laughs> Diddy. I like, hated that. <laughs> I hated that so much. But, like, these men that he looks up to who he's like, damn, like, I- which I understand that. I understand this idea of, like, I- even in the media of just, like, damn, is nobody, like, mm. oh, like who can a I. success story. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. who can I look to to be, to feel guided in that way? Like, my dad couldn't do it, and so I'm seeking out fucking Will Smith and Diddy. They couldn't do it or whatever. We got to I'm saying that name, not that one. redacted, redacted. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, because we, child. But anywho, um, so I feel like with all of that said, though, Clay shouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. Everything happens for a reason. And so if he's really meant to be in Amber's mm-hmm. life and that's supposed to be a thing, like obviously everything is happening the way it's supposed to. But as a premise, as far as like being healed enough to actively seek love, how was that not, was that not? on your mind when you signed up to marry someone you Thank signed up you. to meet someone kick it with them for a few weeks and then get married that's Thank what you, you signed up for but he did say it on the show that i don't think i think that because so many people especially the men from what you hear mm-hmm. going into it they don't even believe that they could fall in love in the time period so i don't think they even think even with that though why that come? they're going to 
because they're coming like they say, like and then you know so many people nowadays like a lot of people on there the show was reaching out to these people. Yeah. So it's like, it's not oh. like, it's not like oh. they were online like, oh my God, love is blind. Like, I would Oh, love really? To is have that how it works? How now. do you know that? Because so many people have talked about it. A lot Clay of like, being one of them? No, I don't know if Clay oh, specifically. I'm, I'm just saying a lot of people that have been on Love and Blind, Love is Blind mm-hmm. in like past seasons, in this current season, all talked about, some of them spoke being about how, right, how they were reached out to on Instagram. Like, hey, you should come sign still, up, audition for this. Damn. If I got that message, I was the question is, do I want to be married? Right. Not do I want to <laughs> exactly. be on, on TV? Show, I don't right. think, but I think That's crazy. his question, like, because he said it to AD in one of the scenes that coming on the show, yeah, his like, thing was seeing, his thing was like, I'm trying to see if I can fall in love. Mm-hmm. Like, can I actually fall in love with somebody and love without seeing enough. them? And so I think that's what a lot of the people come on the show for. They're coming on the show to see if that's even a real thing. And then once they get to the next part, now they're like, oh, shit. You know, kind of like, we're like, because I think none of nobody thinks they're going to get there. Everybody is under the assumption of like, no. <laughs> like that's, that's weak as hell. Like to that's me. not gonna work. Uh, it's weak as hell for the people like AD who like what as far as what she's it. conveying. I don't know mm-hmm. if that's not true, and maybe right. they sought out her out, and maybe she's a fucking industry plan or something. I don't know. But from what she's conveying, I came here to be somebody's wife. Like Jess said, like so many, and mm-hmm. that's another thing too. Like we'll talk about that on another show. I. Uh-huh. I, it's a lot of propaganda in this show. That I mean, it's reality television still. And also, they mm-hmm. in Charlotte, and I had to, I had to, I had to remember like yeah, the they demographic. They go to certain cities, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yes, people are more conservative. People have more traditional values and all that stuff. Because I was just, I, I hadn't watched this since season two, and I was just like, a lot of the pod stuff. I don't know. That it lasted just, too it, long for me. The pods lasted for. It was like three, four episodes. I'm like, it was awful. Get out of these. It's but anyway, three, four what do you think episodes. happens? What do you think it did happens? not feel that long last time I saw it. Maybe because it was more interesting. Yeah. What do you think? Because I have to go through all the reveals, then that shit took know. so long. What do you think happens to the people who don't get the camera time in the pods? They didn't it was get like any camera time. Like, the, like it was a couple. Of like it was like that girl Alejandra or Alexandra. Yeah. Cause she came to the barbecue. But we yeah. didn't, yeah, she we did didn't right. see her date anybody. And, and it was so a couple guys, too, that, that were there. Matthew and then the girl that he Can was, like, dating at the same time that they haven't popped back up. You would have thought. Oh, no. Yeah, her name was Amber. Oh, Amber, was it? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it was. I'm surprised Other Amber. that they didn't pop back up since they, you know. They might come on a reunion. I would hope so, he but so it, it seemed He's like terrible. it seemed like her feelings were like really, really hurt. And if like that was real, I can understand her being like, "Girl, fuck that show!" Like for real, because that that's show. crazy to find like to be so touched by a man asking you like about your dad and all that stuff, and then for a bitch to tell you that he said the same thing to her, that yeah. would curse somebody. I love Matthew yeah. Matthew sucks. was a serial he killer. Was a weird guy. He was awful. He knows he was awful though. He Sociopath. was very weird. Um, I'm not, not but diagnosed. back on AD for a second, I loved her mom. Like her scene with her oh, mom made me, emo- like it made me appreciate just looking at like women. Like mm. I just really enjoyed okay. like looking at women and seeing like an older woman just want what's best for like two young people or yeah, yeah, two yeah. young mm-hmm. people to her you know i did I just, like the I advice just she like gave. seeing her just it just all be so positive and you know and it just all be so grounded in her realism and i liked that <laughs> that her mom really like liked him mm-hmm. that when he walked mm-hmm. away i love how AD was just like like That's they amazing. like ad loves him when he walked yeah. away, AD's like, do you see? Like, you see what I mean? And the mom was like, ooh. Like, I was like, oh, y'all really like <laughs> Y'all really like this man. I was like, that's fun. Brianna but hates it. I think Clay is very corny. Um, I also don't trust him. I mm-hmm. think that it gives manipulation. Mm-hmm. It gives it I gives agree. that. Because a that. lot of men do this agree. thing where in the in under the guise of vulnerability, they share their fears, and I've never been in a relationship. I don't know if I'm good at this. And then down the line, when they cheat, it's like I said, I told oh, you, yeah. I bet it. I, don't I, know I if tried I can do my this. best. And then mm-hmm. also, um, I because I already don't trust him. I feel like he's planting seeds with this whole staying out all night because of his job thing. 
Oh, mm. I hate that. Because it's only a matter of time before I had to some, work. some of those nights I work and some of them nights are something else. But them nights that he been at work, he been coming home in the morning. I think that's insane. That's what I'm saying. Like, you rent out jet skis and Airbnbs and you got to be somewhere all night? All the time. Frequently. So it's kind of like, mm, Some shit going to come out Because then. then, you know... Uh, who was she talking to when she said that she um, got him all his favorite snacks and stuff, and she was like, and it's still sitting there? Her mama. Oh, that was her mom. Mm-hmm. I also, I got a lot of, I, I, I be real. Look, uh, stay tuned. I be real anti about a lot of stuff. But, yeah, it's certain things that, like, I just don't trust Clay. I really don't. I don't trust, I don't trust him. him. I either. hope I hope that's not the case. I hope that it's genuine because I think that AD deserves, um, she's, very, she's straight up. She knows what she wants. She's direct. She's not playing games. However, whatever this felt like, this don't have nothing to do with the actual premise of of this particular show or the actual Love Is Blind show, as far as like what it's supposed to be about. But I was really like irritated with Ad the, for her talking to Sarah Ann and like the oh. way that she was talking to her and stuff. Oh yeah, it felt very. It felt. Very like Jack and Jill, you know, like mm-hmm. those like uppity blacks. Like they have like this moral high ground of like, it just felt it felt very icky, and it just ultimately felt like I under I under <laughs> made me so uncomfortable. I, oh, I, God, I, I will throw up. I, 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 but I, I think that was a, a producer. I feel I I. I was going to say that. I was about to say I'm making room for the fact that production made her do that. Yeah, I think but so. She did it I too mean, good. They though. can ask you to have conversations. And she, she did it too good. It's, she seemed but genuinely the like way, triggered. The only thing I didn't like about the conversation was the mixed message of it. And because I feel uh, like she started the conversation talking to her like everything was good. Like it was like, she's like, girl, she's like, shut like, up. Oh my God. Oh, like, oh. Yeah, 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 like she was talking but to her like start, they she were starts friends. antagonizing her. Yeah, it's and like, at the end, now you're pissed. And now right. you're letting it be known like I don't respect you or whatever. And I would have been fine. I'm okay with the message either way. I just needed her to pick a, I don't like the... The, like the her like Once stepping Sarah into Ann the said line. like yeah I, I knew I, I knew that that was a door open and that's when she, that, if you that's were when gonna it but if yeah. you wanted to confront her and you, you know why confront her about it then that's how you should have sat down with that energy. yeah exactly but you know why it flipped when when Sarah Ann said that a door was left open right you're triggered because you're scared that your nigga don't know if he gonna cheat on you or not yeah exactly that's what's that's what it was getting let's get deep like into that's it. it's triggering you how however. I, Oh, oh! Everyone's saying however. <laughs> I was like, however. Because <laughs> I do because I because when I was listening to the, con- it's like I get both sides. I can mm-hmm. understand Sarah Ann being like, I was a part of this experiment too. Just like everybody, my else. feeling like I felt her love message. With him her too. message wasn't leave that bitch. She, you chose the wrong bitch. I looked at her picture. She weak. She as hell. sucks. She right. literally said. This was a great experience. I appreciate you, what you gave to this experience. If anything changes. Would love to reconnect. That's literally all she said. Right. There's nothing. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, I no, don't. Yeah. I don't think it's anything wrong from it from her her standpoint. Mm-hmm. But I do understand the idea of once again, like we're in a pressure cooker. Mm-hmm. We are being told to marry these people that we met within like a month or two Mm -hmm. or however long it is. And we're trying to make a lifelong decision. And I can understand saying like, obviously it's up to you. It's, it's nobody's fault if your man sways or he leaves you or whatever. But I understand her saying like, as a woman or like understanding this experiment is kind of like, we're already all unsure or we're already all uneasy. And it's like, and if I think about past seasons before love is mine, I kind of got weird for like two seasons, but in the beginning seasons, when there were the small love triangles, Uh how weird or different it could have been had somebody actively been trying to pursue that person or Mm -hmm. actively out at the club, like, let's talk all night. You know, it's like, while the emotions and everything are still fresh (coughs) and it's because it's like, Jeremy doesn't get a pass in At any all. type of way. He did it. But it's like we are – I was just tell, saying that I was in love with you 10 days ago. You know, right. and now to see that – like it's like I get her saying like when AD was like, you didn't even give them a fighting chance or something. It's like I understand like, no, it being like you were placing this doubt 
or allow or were a part of placing because that's what you wanted to do. Yeah. You know, like the goal when you sent the message well, is the hoping that it would play, you yeah. know, put some doubt in his head. And it's kind of like, damn, girl, if you were the one that had been chosen, though, how would you have felt? You know, like on the other hand, yeah, it's like I sure. get where you're coming from, but if that was your man, how would you have felt Here's the thing, if the though. other girl, if Jess was doing that? Everybody's picking and choosing when to be understanding because of Laura, yep. who had this happen to her, and I'm not saying she deserved it or like anything like that, but she was at the at the spot with Jess before all of this. So was. Do you think he would want to see me? Yeah, I think he would. Yeah, like also oh, when it's Jess, great time. it's cool right. to do that to Chelsea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you're but in the same conversation, you're talking about how pissed you are that old girl. DM your man. Yeah. But Jess, you're telling Jess, like, well, yeah. You I think him, you, you're I think he with would other women. See you. You're feeding then, her you're feeding her the information that if somebody whoever fed fed it to Sarah Ann and gave her the the judge to send that DM, you you're you're pissed about well, that. Well, Laura fed it to Jess while they was in the quads. She was like, He's not your man, babe. But he's not your man. <laughs> but but now <laughs> she's outside, the same girl. outside of the pods and he's engaged, you're telling Jess, yeah, the same yeah thing. I think he would like to see you. And he but does. when it happens to you, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I that's what I mean when I say being realistic. I perceive because that conversation you're being a realistic. Okay, tell me, Tati. Um, cuz I'm I'm thinking of it as like in that sense Laura was just playing the friend. Like the my friend was dating a guy and just kind of giving that, like, yeah. You know, like, or he probably the was so, not. So no, 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 no. I'm talking about when they met at the bar. Oh, not oh, saying, oh, oh, okay. I don't think she was speaking. She wasn't speaking in the terms I feel like of saying, like, yeah, you should reach out to him. Or, yeah, for you should you, talk to him. For you to or, be or, this yeah. pissed and, and calling that girl raggedy and all of that, the conversation with your friend should have been like, yeah, he might want to see you, but I wouldn't mess with that if you if I were you, girl. I'm, my feelings are hurt that this girl DM'd him. Don't do that. That's a very I mean, different conversation I don't know. than I feel than, like friends yeah, girl, talk to each you. other differently though. I like don't know. when you're like a close friend, like I feel like I would tell, like I, if my friend was like, like oh, like being like I don't know, like I'm gonna be nervous to see him or something. Like, do you think he would want to like see me? And then me being like, he probably would. Like I don't know, I don't know if her intentions were just talking to her friend. It yeah, may have it been felt, like something on the side where she was kind of like, yeah, you should hit him up tomorrow. But to me, to me, it felt like girlfriends like talking like your friend that you had just watched crying over the guy and just kind of being like, yeah, he probably would. But I just, you know, even, even if it was, it just felt hypocritical because even if it was that, if I was pissed, if I'm actively, this was the same day, this is the same conversation. If I'm actively pissed off that a girl just DM my nigga, and then I have my friend telling me a similar situation where she is in the position of that girl. Nothing in me would be like something. Something would have me be like, but I don't think. But look how. But I she pissed. also knows but Jess, and Jess was so how. not on that. Mm-hmm. So it's possible too that oh, she, she know. already knew. Like Jess wasn't on that. Like right. Jess didn't want to be that girl. That's so yeah, that's true. It's like if we're friends, she already she got embarrassed mean, already. So she didn't. Yeah, wanna like yeah. Jess wasn't about. She put to her stuff out there way. She was un- she, but i mean she did it honestly like uh, there's no right or wrong way to do it but like i would say she did it right she, she came did I with think her so heart too. on her sleeve she was honest i think so the too. only thing that irritated me about her was her being like she didn't want to be upfront about having a kid girl leave with that yeah i'm sorry i don't like that i didn't like that but um she did everything right i think that and, and even in the conversation that they had in person the only fucking sketch weird thing about that conversation that has continued to be unaddressed is him saying, in my mind, you're still number one. Mm-hmm. Excuse us? I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what disgusting. are you saying? It's <laughs> disgusting. It's just, yeah. it's just like, that's like Jimmy. Okay. Some of that stuff, sometimes when they say stuff, yeah. ever since. Um, I know you guys didn't watch the last season, Mm-mm. but on the last season, like one of the couples uh, that had been dating and a girl, like, some drama, but the girl ended up leaving the pod. So he didn't even mm. get to propose to her. Oh. And he was going to propose to her. Oh, but wow. she ended up leaving the pods because of, like, the drama and stuff that was happening. But when they got back to the real world, like, she had immediately kind of, like, hit him up, like, I want to meet up. Like, she was, like, apologizing mm. and saying, like, I would want to work on this or whatever. And then it was, but like. he had already proposed to someone else? No, he never proposed oh. to anybody. He left, too. Like, oh. once she left, because oh. she was, they okay. were the only people, he was only talking to her. Oh, but wow. in that season, it had just so happened by chance that a girl that he used to date was also there, too. Oh. 
And the girl ended up telling the other girl down the line, like, okay, I got to tell you. No, he told her. Mm -hmm. He ended up coming forward and telling her, like, I used to date Mm -hmm. such and such. And it just, and he told her because he realized that that girl had been being her best friend, like, the whole time in the pod. So he finally told her. And they then pick a city that everybody she is in. left. Yeah, they get she small. left. Everybody lives there. But when they met up and she was trying to be like, I'm sorry, like, can we work this out? It was a thing where he was like, no, this is over. Oh, wow. But then on Instagram, they were both kind of posting like, I never said that. Like, that was like an edited, oh. like, voiceover thing. Like, Here I didn't go. say it's over. He was like, we hugged, we kissed, we did talk about like yeah. working it out, but then it just didn't work, and we Got and then you. nothing else happened. And so now sometimes when like you hear stuff, yeah. but you don't see their like yeah. mouths, like I'd be you like, know production be doing like stuff. did they say that? Like, yeah. <laughs> crazy. No, that's why the only thing we can do is as um, as viewers is just judge it from what we're seeing, and like mm-hmm. that's all. Like if y'all come up and clear it up, like like Kenneth tried to talk. Have y'all oh, seen Kenneth, Kenneth the one TikTok trying to explain why? It looked like he was always on his phone. What did he say? Please tell me what he said because he was very annoying to me from the jump. I didn't really retain that information because I was just like, "Ew, I don't want to." I don't want to. I, say I saw like Brittany well, I had said get, something about how the phone that. never bothered her. She was like, "No, that wasn't one of our issues." She was like, I don't know. <laughs> "She's like, no, the things were worse." She was, no, she, she was just like, "That was never one of our no he, issues." Um, I think that he uh, would like a man. That's what everybody was saying. Oh, I, I thought so. I thought so immediately. That's what in, I think. In the pods. And that's the thing, guys. I just, you know. Just be true to yourself. Just be true to yourself for your pride, you know. Why would you come on television and act like you. Well, because it's tough. I understand. It's tough for some but people. But the people on. They were in Charlotte. On it's television is crazy. It's very I don't religious. Know. On I understand. Crazy. But I mean, but like, it's, it don't, it's not, it's not always a situation where like they're trying to convince other people. They're trying to convince themselves. They're trying to convince themselves. Trying to convince but when it them. came down to like how they ended, it was just like. It was so like. Oh, so very, you like, didn't what? want this anyway. Like, That's how I felt. <laughs> like, you didn't and want this. And he was this very, program. like, he was like, all right. Well, give me a hug. Yeah, he was so very you know like, un- like, like like nobody hated it. <laughs> but and she was so sad. Um, you know, like she's done been doing like some interviews Jessica. and stuff. Jessica? Jess. Oh, oh, Jess, Jess, Jess. Oh, okay. She's been doing like I'm interviews actually. and like uh uh-huh, I'm oh, like uh curious this curious. And they asked her something about Britney uh. and uh Kenneth and she was like, No, like she was like, I feel like that they just got a bad edit because she mm. was like, um she was like the thing was she was like they in her mind she said they have both kind of realized once they got back from the honeymoon that they were starting to feel like more like friends Mm. and they had been having conversations about it and been having conversations about how it wasn't working yeah Aja told me that that was like a last scene Right, she was like, so when that scene came, it had, stuff she had already Kenneth happened. Kenneth was just oh. kind of over it and not really paying that paying it that much attention because he was kind of like, we we've talked about this already. Well, like, they was so probably they was probably like, like knowing that they was going to end it. That production was probably just trying to get it over with. And they had to film it. it. Like I think they had yeah. said these things to each other just off camera. Oh, so I then see. they, you know, were they like, well, we have to film. It your breakup, but it's like, it's still like, and I get that, yeah. but still, Brittany was in tears. She, she was. was she was still, she was still emotional and connected to it, and he's just like, it's no like, Yeah, <laughs> like, we good. <laughs> give like, me a hug. Give me a hug. All right, well, give me a hug. I think he's into so men. So you know it's no B. That's fine. I do think, I do think he's into men. Um, I mean, stuff is coming out on Instagram and Twitter about that. But stuff is? Like, his family members are calling him out. Yeah, oh I no. did see something like that, like in yeah, a comment. That's not okay. That's not okay. Which is weird, because why would you say that when he's currently on a dating show? That's what happens. Dating a woman. That's but what happens. from your family. Yeah, your family. Why would your that's family get in comments be and be like, oh, no, he's gay, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, that's how she. That's how the comment was. Like, I saw a comment of like, Oh, so he is gay. No, oh, I, I don't, don't know. know. Look, I don't that's know. That's just what. But that's just what his family calls him? Supposedly. I don't even know if that's Supposedly a cousin. Oh. Supposedly, supposedly a cousin. Allegedly, <laughs> somebody who claims to be his cousin was like in comment sections. Like, oh, no, but don't do that to men. And there, and Let men do that shit in private. No to gay. There's no look to there's it. There's no look But that just goes to show that we're all thinking it. 
Everybody was like, with those hips? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, that is crazy. <laughs> hips is crazy. <laughs> I would like to say about Laura and Jeremy about their situation with him seeing Jeremy Sarah. Jeremy is a sociopath. He's, yeah. uh, for sure. So, so him bringing up the – so this is why I have a root – I have a problem with, like, location stuff in early relationships. Okay, okay. And so – him bringing up, well, you had my location when he was out at 5 a.m. And she said, yeah, bitch, you were at her house. Right. <laughs> like, what the fuck did you think that was going And that's my problem. He it's thought like she was dense enough people to love, be okay people with love the location. People love feeling thrown like, you got my location, you got my location. What bitch, that shit can happen regardless if I got your location or not. Yeah. You can sit in the parking lot for hours and be fucking doing all the wildest shit in the in world. In the parking lot. Only mm-hmm. because I got your location, I should Y'all be like, oh, thank God. Look, Y'all thank God he's good. And she was like, I was asleep at 5 a.m. What do you want me to do? And I look up and see that you're still not home. All right, just <laughs> look at your location. Still not here? Yeah. 5 a.m. is crazy. But I know where like he is. Like, 5 a.m. Exactly. Is That's my problem crazy. with locations. I have and that issue. And then telling me that you were with Sarah Ann with confidence. Like, yes. Yeah, he 5 said, a.m. He said, I was with Sarah Ann. Yes. My ex. That we were, we were in love. Just talk. I just hate the location yeah, conversation. I don't. I, that that is a privilege to work up to being s- close to somebody, to knowing where they are at all times. Yeah. And I am not a person that's just going just because I got a relationship five days yeah. ago. That here you go. No, yeah, babe. Yeah, you don't need to know. The trust got to be in a different space. He does. No, no. I mean, people are no, different. I mean, I'm different. No, yeah, I'll just <laughs> people who got my location. I like, the, I like having everybody's location. I know, but I've known you for years. Yeah. And we're yeah. not dating. So I don't got to explain shit to you for real. Period. All you got to do is ask me, like, what were you doing over there? And I'm like, mm, girl, I'm not, look, nothing. That's all and that's, and I'm shit, a, that's all I'm going to say. Emoji. What's the body who wants to date me currently and right. be like, I got your location, where are you? Me. No. Yeah, no. Because I, I can be doing shit at my house. sharing a location is mm. long. If it is, mm. it just needs to be coming from a genuine space. Yeah. Not from Come a from space. Come from a genuine space. Of to you have my location. <laughs> not, I want to know where you are. Not I just don't come home or do whatever the fuck I want because I can just say no, Jeremy you got my thinks location. that he's smarter than everybody. He mm-hmm. genuinely thought that it was going to be enough that he shared his location. Fuck you thought that, that we wasn't going to look at it? You thought that she was just going to be like, Jeremy he shared his location is with me. That is not moving. Jeremy's sick. Yeah, Jeremy is sick in the mind. And Sarah Ann won't that man. And, oh. and I think in oh. all of his actions, not to say, she is not responsible for that man. But, like, no. the way he, how terribly he handled it, and, like, how it was, like, you're sitting here with his, well, currently just broken up, you know, like ex fiance <laughs> and you're on jet skis and it's like in front, it's like, and you are lost as to how this is, you know how this could be considered like disrespectful weird. or disrespectful. weird or like uncomfortable or it's like, you're okay with a man that would do that to his fiance. Yeah. Like you're okay with a, <laughs> like that doesn't I didn't. So I she felt like she came first. I didn't think she um, did anything We met him all the same day. I sure did. Him <laughs> him, but I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about that um, anti-abortion ass bitch anyway. I don't give a shit. But Jeremy's definitely is not on, uh, you know, on the right side of mental I would things. put my hands on him. Yeah, for I sure. I feel like his. Yeah, because your people, smug demeanor, for sure. Yeah, and people that are not. Like eyes. He said, I cannot I talk to people that are not in reality with no. me. Mm-hmm. And that, it drives me insane. Like, the fact that. You made up a story to tell people and say, like, well, how can I be with a girl who's not giving me anything? You know, or like, (laughs) I fucked up and she wouldn't let me apologize in time. And so how can I be with someone like that? (laughs) You know, it's like the fact that you made up a scenario to tell people to say, and this is why I gave up on her. Right. It's insane. Same. <laughs> right. Instead of just even when he was owning. talking to his mama, his mama said, "You look here with me." Yeah, yeah. like baby, I would have been done with I you too. I would have been at the door. But it's Five? like he was so blah about it. Yeah, because he has Sarah Ann. Had his it was on. like I have my next move already. Yeah. So it's like I'm really I'm not pressed. Like I didn't need to fix it because I have my next. I know where I'm going. Yeah, and I think they're still together. Word on the street. So we will find out. In conclusion, I do want to ask you: Like, do you think in the real world? Do you think that you you need to be a certain amount of healed to be actively seeking a relationship? And like, healed in what capacity? Like, for someone to seek a relationship with you, Michael Mm -hmm. McGee. Yeah. What type of healed do they need to be? I want them to love themselves fully, inside and out. Because. I'm not going to go anything like that unless I do. Mm-hmm. Um, and 
I don't know. I guess this has to be as much honesty as possible. Yeah. I do think you have to be completely healed, though. Mm. Completely is a yeah. is vague, but like yeah. or like a perception, whatever. But mm. like, just I am open to being one with someone, and whatever this experience brings me is what it's gonna bring me. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. So I would mm-hmm. say, hell yeah, because don't bring me no bullshit. Because I ain't gonna be no fucking Chelsea on this fucking show. That is wild Chelsea? as fuck. Like, well, do you just love it's me? It's gonna be annoying. It's gonna be annoying. Like, I hope, and that's the thing. The scary th- thought is that she looks back at all this and is just like, yeah, it's just. Like I want that. that now. Like, I want. I hope she's embarrassed. In my, in my her somewhat. TikToks be popping up on my TikTok. Well, hold on, I want to ask you about that. Uh oh. In the current mm-hmm. dating space, like I have dealt with people who are who need a lot of validation. Mm-hmm. I don't have no mm-hmm. problem reassuring anybody, mm-hmm. but I want to know that you you can. Validate yourself too, because I don't ask for anything. Like, tell me I'm cute. Tell me I'm beautiful. I'm sexy. Blah blah blah. That's great. Thank you. Tell so me what we already know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, but seriously, but like, I don't. I feel so like I, I don't. I don't want it to be a job. It should never be mm-hmm. a job for your partner. It makes you like, hey, hold on. I gotta tell him at least five times today. That's bullshit. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be. You're not ready. And I can't be afraid to leave the house for an hour and a half. <laughs> Maybe an like hour an and hour a half, half was crazy. I went crazy. to a birth, and it was a birthday Someone's party. <laughs> I went to a birthday party. An event that could have taken girls. me hours. And he said one drink. But I went for an what? hour and a half because I knew my psychopathic wife <laughs> <laughs> or fiance at home was like crying what? her and eyes out. And then she was like, it's embarrassing, it's embarrassing that people would say your fiance's out. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> like that's not just embarrassing. Like, that that's, happens. That's you don't normal. think that ever happens <laughs> in life? <laughs> She's that he'll just be outside and you won't be there. Okay. And you might yeah. Y'all answer the question too. What what? Whatever oh, what do you do I think he, I think two parter, do you think that people need to be healed to actively seek mm-hmm. love and for someone to be um uh, uh pursuing you specifically, what kind of heal do you need them to be? I do not think that you need to be completely healed because who really knows what that is, Mm -hmm. honestly. And, but I, (laughs) I think that you just have to be open and ready for the healing, Mm. you know, and for the process, you know, and for the, you know, like, I'm not there yet, but, like, like I am working. And I'm aware. I'm aware. I've learned the things that I lacked or the things I needed to change or the things that I needed to work on, and I am in the process of trying to. Because, like you said early on, love and relationships, those things can just happen. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that if you're in the middle of doing the work and then you just so happen to come across, you know, a great person, like, I don't think you should necessarily have to feel like you have to run away from it mm-hmm. because you're like, no, 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 I'm not done yet. Has you somebody know? on the show shown that to you, that they weren't completely here, but they were like, you know. Has yeah. some, who are you asking that? On this I'm show? I'm asking to you. On like the way on the podcast? No, no, no. I'm oh. talking about on Love is Blind, like not even season six, just in general. Has somebody shown me? That they have not been completely here, but they were open to, you know, exactly what you're saying. Like, come on, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> AD. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. I yeah, think AD true. is yeah. a great yeah, example definitely. of someone who, I think she has shown that she has, like, her insecurities or, like, her fears and her thing. Yeah, but it's, like, but she's here and she's ready and she's willing, you know? Like, and she's not, like, how she's not afraid to be open and honest, but, like, how you say clays can come off as maybe it's, like, manipulative. Mm -hmm. Like, you can tell that her Okay, I feel you on that. I feel you. You know, honest (laughs) and (laughs) trusting. Because AD is a good example. Okay, cool. Got it. Even, um... Ayana from Chicago from season two. We didn't. I didn't watch. Was I watched season two, but I don't remember the. All, all I remember from Jared. season two was that, that was fucking bitch. That fucking bitch who was feeding that dog out of that fucking wine glass, Shayna. I don't oh, know about I'm like, who did that? I will never like her. But anywho, oh, and then what kind of hill does someone have to be to pursue you? Um, just no that healing. Kind. That you Look, no healing. Yeah, I agree with uh, Tati a hundred percent. And the key for me is self awareness. You don't have to already be at the finish line, but you mm-hmm. have to. What know is the finish that line? Not. We I, don't know I exactly. I mean, I agree with line, that too. Honestly, as far as like he, I don't know. I have the thought that I want you to like yourself. That's really I do all. want you to, but you can <laughs> like yourself and 
and be and be a sociopath and be Jeremy. Right. Need some work. You can like yeah. yourself and be Jeremy. Yeah. Okay. But um, and that's fine because maybe that works for somebody. Maybe that works for anti-abortion Sarah Ann. But you know, mm. um, but no, same. I think was that he aligned on her with that? I'm sorry. He didn't say. Oh, okay. We didn't. I don't hear, even we remember. We that. didn't hear that part. Mm. Mm. She was just like, of course, like if people are like, you know, if yeah, if okay, I do rape, remember that. I like, do remember I feel that. like you should be able to, but but I just don't think that women should just mm. up yours. Mm. Um. Mm. So, anywho, but I I agree. I think that the type of field, um, like personally. I did not seek the love that I am in, but once I got in it, and that, and then another thing, you don't really, uh, cause you can heal in relationships. You can. You mm-hmm. don't heal in unhealthy relationships because it's too much other shit going on for you to even know, like what what real things need to be work on, worked on. Right. If you are in a genuinely like unhealthy mm-hmm. space. There's not enough emphasis for you to look inward. It's just like you. It's just y'all doing the Spider Man. Y'all just pointing the finger because like yeah. this shit mm-hmm. sucks. You suck. You suck. But the relationship that I'm currently in, I have been healing through because I've been like, oh, I didn't realize that I felt that. Absolutely. I didn't realize mm-hmm. that I had the capacity to have those thoughts and those worries and those fears. And it's like, but I'm in a space in my life where I look at those things and I'm like, okay, but what do we do with this? Mm-hmm. And we fucking figure it out. But if you don't have self awareness, healing be damned. Key. If you're not self aware, baby, get away. Jeremy, away. literally in all forms of relationships, relationships, romantically, friendships, get away from me. I feel like yeah, self awareness is a thing. That's what kind of what I mean when I say that like because you got to be at fucking least for real. Some type of something with yourself, just to yeah. know yourself in some know kind of capacity. Where you are. Don't make me feel like I have to learn. Make you learn things about yourself all the time. Yeah, I can help you learn mm-hmm. things. Yeah, everything. I got to tell you that you got this thing. You didn't know that? You didn't realize that every yeah. time we talk about your dad, your, your what left butt cheeks start doing? itching? Yeah, what have you been you doing? Didn't yeah. You didn't notice that? You didn't notice that? And that, cre- that creates a dependent, st- a cr- a a dependent attachment style. Exactly. Which is what I've experienced. Yep, 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 yep. But yeah, so that was this. Thank you, guys. Thank you that so much that. for um, indulging in this conversation. I think ultimately I just oh, wait. want... Really quick. Ain't no wait. Before we say bye. Oh. Predictions. Who's getting married and who's not? Oh, oh well, Johnny Jeez. and Johnny and Brittany. Nope. Her name's Amy. I was like, nope, that's not a couple. Johnny and what's Amy. Her name? Amy. Who's name is Brittany? Brittany is Kim. Oh, and Johnny they're and Amy. already out of the running. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny and Amy. <laughs> they're Johnny at home and Amy. With plot us. twist. <laughs> Brittany's gonna marry Chelsea. She she cried when her dad gave the blessing, so I it's, I think it's definitely them Chelsea. for sure. So wait, so Chelsea and Jimmy are they getting married? I don't think they're getting married. No. I hope they don't. I feel like they might. I feel like it's a strong possibility that they might, but I hope they don't. I feel like they won't only because of how they ended it with Chelsea, with him asking Chelsea, like, where is she at? And right. the fact that she, which, who con- this which whole came time, out of fucking nowhere. This whole time, you've that's been the one that's like, Yep, yes, 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 yes. And now out the clear blue, you're confused. So that just I don't I feel like I working. feel like that's editing. I feel like yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be like she's it's gonna, gonna come back on it. She's gonna she's be like, gonna hey, like she's gonna be like, of course, <laughs> of course, of course. Like it's been a rocky road, but of course I think I feel like it's gonna be like something like that because they've been being real tricky mm-hmm. with um the editing of the the trailers, not the trailers, but like the previews for the next because mm-hmm. before we saw these last two episodes. The preview for it yeah. insinuated that Jimmy saw Jess and then Jimmy and Jess fucked. That's uh-huh. what they insinuated. Right, right. Yeah. Because first you see it's Jimmy like you and Jess him. seeing each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you see Chelsea screaming, you fucked her, I know you fucked her. And it was yeah. Or they else. kept showing Jess and uh, Laura talking about, like, the, do you think you want to see me? Oh, and yeah. her being like, and yeah. And then also Amy and Johnny, they tried to make it seem in the in the previews like that her, her dad, dad wasn't going to was gonna say no. Like, he doesn't have, um, they don't have his blessing. So. You think Johnny and Amy are going to get married? I think they, I don't see why they wouldn't. I feel like it would be random as fuck if they don't. Um, I think Clay and AD are. I think, I think they're going to get married. They got married. I think they are. I don't want them yeah. to. Um, only in the only I reason. Hope, but no, no, no. I do want them to if I am wrong about Clay or if I'm right about Clay and Clay is genuinely working on it. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I I, just, I want them to be good. I want them to be happy. I want everybody to oh, have seen the show. you know what I want? Netflix. Whoever Netflix 
and Tyler Perry um, oh. work with as far as black hair, we got to do something. We got to do something. Tyler Perry? Yeah. Tyler Perry Tyler is Perry notorious is for having terrible wigs terrible. on his productions. Oh. I, don't even, I don't even understand that. Honestly. But I just feel like the I just feel like black women like I just want <laughs> Netflix because Netflix has like the whole like strong <laughs> black leads thing. Like y'all kind of lead into like black stuff. Have a black hair department. Don't let black women go on these shows no more with their leave out unbrushed. Yeah. And their wigs look I hated like seeing AD doing this. I but I don't think they have like hair and makeup type stuff. That's they the don't, and that's, that's what reality. I'm, I'm asking for. I'm asking for that to be a thing. But I don't think they give you that on like them type of shows. Sure, because it's sure. My request is that it is a thing. Though. Um, I don't. I know. don't want that what on reality that. TV. No, I'm saying like for those like the types where they're like in a home and you're just being filmed like. Oh. You know, like a real world. If you can, like if a, you can bring production to show in here, you if you can bring production in here and cameras, you can bring somebody who got a fucking wig brush who can brush my, my leave out. Don't I want this to stop. And this is across the board. Not just Netflix. Married at First Sight, I've seen it. Lots of shows with my black women. Or either that or black women, let's band together and let's go on these shows with some with some knotless braids or something. Let's stop with the sew-ins. I don't mind it on reality TV. <laughs> I want not like you I don't mind it. Like I don't like I mind it. I want, but I don't mind it. Like I if want your you hair are. to <laughs> look better. Me but too. she don't. That's how, that's how she would have came outside if she wasn't on Netflix. <laughs> I want your hair to look better. I need this to stop. She oh, got some oh homegirls that's telling her what to do now. Somebody. I mean, because she did her hair a couple when times. When she got home, a couple times. Yeah, mm -hmm. but like, like you didn't. So home, you didn't have you didn't have a brush in the pods. You only got brushes at your house? You didn't she pack, you didn't pack nothing hair care wise? I don't Bullshit. know. You guys have Amber to. Denise. And in the pods, I feel like when they're <laughs> in the Amber pods, y'all can have hair Amber and makeup in the pods. But anywho, yeah, no more. Uh, no more. I'm begging. No more. We can't do that no more. So um, in conclusion to that, <laughs> oh, who else is there? Nobody. Oh, that's it. Clay and AD, we said, it, are going to get married, are probably married. I don't think uh, Slim Jimmy and Chelsea are going to get married. I don't know why I'm kind of on the fence mind. about the other couple, Johnny and Amy. Johnny and Johnny and Amy. I feel like I they think might they're be the they don't. they're the okey doke couple, the couple that you believe the whole mm. time. Like, oh, they're so locked in, like they're perfect. That would be dumb they if can they show like I yeah, can just would, see would be that like, being be the plot twist of like I don't know, like they actually were like, yeah, we're not ready, but, but it it's no big deal. Like it's no bad blood. They're yeah. just like. Yeah, we weren't ready. That actually, <laughs> like that would seem so stupid. Though, I would hate that. In their particular case. But, I would yeah. Hate that. Um, but, yeah, it could go either way. You know, they'd be trying to pull a little over all our eyes mm -hmm. with these shows. Um, but, anyway, the real conclusion to this episode from, from us to y'all is don't be afraid to be by yourself and do the work. Like, mm -hmm. like, take advantage. If you are a single person, take advantage of the time that you're spending alone. Really get to know yourself and get to like yourself and get to love yourself. Really f spend some time um, convincing yourself of how worthy you actually are so that when people do come into your life, whether by happenstance or if you wake up one day and decide, I'm going to go seek it out, that you are there for all of the goodness that comes with being in a relationship and you don't get caught up with needing that nigga to tell you you cute or that person. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So... Sending everybody love. Thank you so much for watching this episode, listening to this episode, wherever you're doing so. Please follow us wherever you can follow us. <laughs> that mm -hmm. Away With Words. <laughs> at Away With Words, the podcast on TikTok mm -hmm. and on TikTok. TikTok. TikTok, so three in a row. TikTok Ronnie and on Instagram. You and you can follow me there at Bree Stories mm -hmm. on Instagram and at Bree underscore stories on Twitch. Mm -hmm. Why? Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was thinking about Twitch right when I said Tic Tac. Yeah. You can follow at Hey Tati on Instagram and at Hey Tati on Twitch. Mm -hmm. And while you're at it, make sure that you're following at Moments Underscores Two and at MJM Kid because you just ought to. We love you all so much, and we'll talk to you. Oh, we won't talk to you next week. Oh my God, I meant to say that in the beginning of the episode. We won't talk to you next week, but we'll be back the week after that. Everybody, say bye. Bye. bye.